Unraveling the lingo of anthropology, speak like an expert. Hello learners! Welcome back to our channel. Today we're stepping into the fascinating world of anthropology, the study of humans and human cultures. We're going to focus on some important anthropology terms that are used in academic and professional settings. By the end of this video, you'll be familiar with key vocabulary and able to discuss anthropology topics with ease. First, let's go over some basic terms you'll frequently encounter in anthropology. 1. Anthropology. This is the study of humans, human behavior, and societies in the past and present. 2. Culture. This refers to the beliefs, customs, arts, and social behavior of a particular society or group. 3. Ethnography. This is the systematic study of people and cultures from the viewpoint of the subject. 4. Archaeology. This branch of anthropology is the study of human history and prehistory through the excavation of sites and the analysis of artifacts. 5. Linguistic anthropology. This is the branch of anthropology that studies how language influences social life. Now that we've covered the basics, let's move on to some intermediate terminology that you might encounter when diving deeper into anthropology studies. 1. Sociocultural anthropology. This branch of anthropology focuses on the study of social patterns and practices across cultures. 2. Ethnocentrism. This is the belief in the inherent superiority of one's own culture and a tendency to view other cultures from the perspective of one's own. 3. Cultural relativism. This is the principle that an individual's beliefs and activities should be understood in terms of their own culture, not judged against the criteria of another. 4. Participant observation. This is a key research method in anthropology where researchers immerse themselves in the culture they are studying. Finally, let's dive into some advanced terminology used by professionals and academics in the field of anthropology. 1. Paleoanthropology. This is the branch of anthropology concerned with ancient humans, as found in fossil hominid evidence. 2. Holism. This is an approach to research that emphasizes the study of complex systems, including societies and cultures, as whole entities. 3. Biocultural Anthropology. This branch of anthropology examines the interrelationship of biological and cultural processes in humans. We've covered a lot today, but remember, Every new term mastered is another step towards becoming proficient in the language of anthropology. Keep practicing these terms, and soon you'll be able to discuss and explore the field of anthropology like a professional. Happy learning, and we'll see you in our next video.